Hi everyone, welcome. In this video, we are going to give a quick introduction to uh, relational databases, and then uh, we are going to just explore Power Pivot, which is, uh, we can just say that the big brother of pivot tables in Excel. So I have a data set here from uh, CMS.gov, Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services. These are inpatient charge data for different years. I downloaded the year 2017. And that data set here is, let me just take a look at where it is. Now under videos, under downloads. So here is the CSV file. And I opened that data set. It shows a different procedures and the providers for the procedure and the address of the provider and all the information about the provider and total number of patients had that procedure for that pro uh, at, at that provider and then also the average covered charges and average total payments and average medicare payments for this 28 discharges at this hospital for this procedure when you look at this data set there should be something uh, that should bother you and that is when you have the provider ID here, you also have all the information related to that provider and address and the state, city, etc. And you're just repeating those unnecessarily. And this is not repeating, you know, this is a this is different for different providers, but at least you are just repeating them for the same provider and you are seeing that you are using a lot of bytes. And if you look at here, and it is 33 megabyte, and what I did is Instead of just using in this format, I have the Medicare inpatient data set and I only left the provider ID here and I put the other information about the providers in a new worksheet. And as we see here that the connection between these two should be made by provider ID. So if I know the provider ID, then I can go to this worksheet and I can just see that provider ID and I can get all the information about that provider. By doing that, in this uh, small data set, I am able to save uh, 23 megabyte out of 33. So which is a huge uh, amount if you think about if you're using terabytes of data in cloud and if you're not using relational databases, that is going to cost you money and you are going to save money by just using relational databases. So this has nothing to do with the Power Pivot, but Power Pivot has the feature of using different uh, data sets. It doesn't have to be in the same Excel file. You can connect different data sets on an Excel file or maybe some other files as well, like Salesforce, uh, SAP, etc. And you can just get the information and still use pivot tables. And how do we do that? So assume that we have this, uh, this updated data set, Medicare inpatient and the providers. I'm just gonna close this and close this and I don't need to save this. I'm just going to open a new Excel worksheet. Now think that uh, there's an Excel file somewhere and you wanna connect to that Excel file and do some uh, pivot table analysis and for that you need to have the power pivot and if you don't have power pivot don't get you know uh, scared or don't get mad or sad so go under options and then go to add-ins manage excel add-ins and then change that into com add-ins and click on go and you should see power pivot for excel there check that box and click ok and then you should be able to see the power pivot listed in the tabs. Now, in order to connect to that Excel file, I'm going to click on manage. And this is to manage the power pivot settings. So I'm going to click on from other sources. And as you can see here, there are a lot of different databases that you can connect to and you can still use Excel. And I'm going to connect to another Excel file so click on next and I'm going to click on browse and this is the file that I have click open the first row has my 
uh, variable names, column headers. So click next. These two, the top two are my worksheets there. This is an extract. I think it has something to do with uh, what I did in there. And then I'm going to click on finish. Now Excel is making the connection. Actually, Power Pivot is making the connection, not Excel. But then we click on close. And now we are seeing the two data sets. And these are two tables that we have if you have used Access before. So, and if you have used some other dat databases before. And what we need is first we need to connect these two tables together by the provider ID. So we need to go to diagram view. This is the data view and diagram view is going to be the place that we are going to choose. And then it shows me this two uh, tables and two data sets. And as you see it here that there's a provider ID and I'm going to click on one of them and just drag it over the other one. Now it shows me that there is one right beside here. There is a star indicating that this is a one to many relationship. We are not going to talk about this uh, a lot here, but it is just indicating that provider ID is repeated only once in here, but the provider, the same provider ID is repeated many times in this Medicare inpatient uh, data set. And which is understandable because we only want to repeat the provider ID once in here and then put also the name, street, address, etc. And that's what we want. So we made a connection. Everything looks good. Now we can just click on pivot table and just add a pivot table. Now when you just say that, it is going to open your Excel file and say, hey, where should I put my pivot table? And you can just put it right in here in cell A. Uh, A1. Now, at this point, it is going to be similar to a typical pivot tables analysis. Now, you can do everything, but you can use now multiple tables, and this could be from Excel, another could be from Salesforce, another could be from SAP, and you can still get those files from SQL and then you can just uh, choose different fields and you can do some analysis on them. You don't have to open the data set, even if the data set is big, you can still use them in Excel, even if it has multiple millions of, uh, of records in them. So what we want, let's just say I wanna pick the provider names and they are listed in here, then I wanna look at how much the total payments and then Medicare payments for each provider. So I grab the total payment and I grab the medical payments and Medicare payments, I'm sorry. No, I think I just grabbed something else. Just remove that and grab the Medicare payments. Now the average total payments, average Medicare payments. Now I can just uh, filter, I can use some slicers, etc. And uh, I'm assuming here at this point that you know about pivot tables. If you don't, uh, you can just refer to uh, my data visualization videos as well. So uh, this is about it uh, with Power Pivot. Now you can generate some charts, etc., and do this and may do your analysis in here using Excel. And you can save this file and it is only going to contain the pivot table. There is no data set here. And let me just save this as under browse. Okay, so under downloads, I'm going to just save it as book one. Let's see how much uh, space that it uh, gets. If you look at here, the book one is 10,977. It looks like it is kind of using the Medicare inpatient in, in there and just keeping that maybe is somehow making the connection. So this is about it with the power pivots and the idea of really using relational databases. You can save data and you can access to many different data sources from Excel using power pivot. 
and in the next video we are going to just do the same thing but we are going to give a quick introduction to power bi and instead of just using excel we are moving into power bi to create uh, nice charts and create some dashboards thanks for watching